Hi, all my crafty friends. I hope you're doing well. I'm back again with another 3D collab project. Um, this is for the 12-month 3D collab that I'm participating with Leslie Broomfield and some other crafty um, people on YouTube. I'll have all their links below um, so that you can check out their projects. This month is vintage, and I decided to create a vintage beach house. So this is my beach house that I created, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. Um, first of all, I took a picture of coloring paper that I had, and what I ended up doing was just using that as a template, and I cut out all my pieces, and I glued them together. And I used some paper that I had in my stash. I'm not sure if it, see, it's 49 Market is the name of it. And it was um, something that I picked up at um, Tuesday. What was it? Tuesday mornings? Yes, I believe so. And I used that paper out of here. Um, it just came with a few sheets and a couple of pieces of cutouts. So I used the paper there and I um, attached it to the roof. And I attached it to the sides. And then I took some um, of this molding paste. And then I used it and put it around the outside in different spots. You can see it. And made it kind of more rough. I wanted it to look old and um, like, you know, worn and tattered. And I used, after I did that and put the box together, I took some of the molding paste again and I filled in the cracks on the sides after I put the house together so that it would look like it was one piece and it was old. And you know how houses will split apart after a while when they're um, old and stuff sitting for so long. So then I took... After I added some of that with the spatula, I took some white gesso and I went around the roof and around the, um, the house. And I uh, took some of this antique linen and I inked around everything and gave it that look of old you know it had that look that it was old and this is a box I made it into a box and this is clear acetate so it just looks like it's just um, sitting on a porch and it's on some stilts right here I use some um, these are bobbins that I had in my stash wooden bobbins and I just painted them and added those to there. And I also, um, around the sides of it, I added some cardboard right here and inked it up and made it look old and worn around three of the sides like that. And then I added some rope that I had and I tied some little knots to the sides. And these little things right here are life preservers that I attach there. But these are the um, glue sticks. I used glue sticks to create it. And it was donuts. And then I just used them to make life preservers and hang them from each side like that. And these are the wooden planks holding it together. And so you could put something in this box. It's pretty deep. So you could use it to put some goodies in and send to somebody. I just love how it came out. I had this star in my stash and I just used some of the, used some alcohol ink on that and just inked, inked that up. And then the door, I used this die that I had here, which I received for Christmas. This is the Spellbinders, it's a Spellbinders die. Um, I'm not quite sure what the name of it is. 
Um, but I just ended up taking a piece of card stock and I cut it out and then I had this tin in my stock uh, in my um, paper stash here it's like a little metal it's um, something I picked up from creative memories or somewhere that was using and I cut these out and I added some burlap behind the door so it looks like it's curtains and then I attached these pieces to it so that it would look like an older looking door and then I used a brad right here but I just love how it came out. It just came out so pretty. I put a flag at the top because way back, um, if you look back in the old, the olden days, they had little flags that flew on the top of um, of the houses, and I thought that was so cute. So I put a flag up there, and I made this. I just cut it out, and then put it on a toothpick, and just stuck it inside and glued it. So that's how that looks. And then this is made out of some acetate right here. Oh, got some glue all over it. This is just acetate. So it looks like um, it's just sitting on a, like, porch. And I didn't put it in the front because I wanted to decorate the front. And I'll show you how I decorated that too. But I just love how it came out. Um, for this right here, I used some cheesecloth that I had in my stash. Um, some um, shell pieces that came with the paper. And then the horse, the um, seahorse that's on here. It's a long piece, but it's covered up. Some of it's covered up. The seahorse and the starfish, I made that with some um, of the clay in a mold that I had. I just made those two pieces. And then on the seahorse, I used some of this oxide spray, um, just a little bit of the weathered wood and some pink. And it's, it's not real bright, but you can see the pink and the gray on there. And then on the pieces right here for the starfish and the uh, lantern that I used right here, I used the, um, this is called Garden Patina, and this is made by Wendy, I'm trying to read the name, Wendy Vec. I'll have to look and see who that was made by. But it's called Garden Patina. And I just love the color. And then I used some of the Rangers Queen Gold. I love this right here. This is just, it's fine. And it's just so pretty, the gold that um, that's on there. And um, I just used a little bit of this. This one right here is my bad one. This is like the one that's really it's really nasty. But this is that um, Versa marker. And when it runs low, I just get out some of the um, bottle that I have and refill it. But I use this one for my mixed media. And that's why it looks so bad. Um, I don't use this on the cards and stuff. But I use it on my mixed media stuff. So, um, and I used that and just colored up some. And I used a little bit of each one of these on the starfish and the lantern right here and then I added some twine to this little thing that says beach um, and stuck that on there and I just love how it came out it came out so cute I just love it so this will be sitting on my shelf but I love the way it kind of looks old looking so that's what I created um, this month for the vintage um, this is the second project, and I just love it. And I hope all of y'all enjoyed looking, um, seeing it, and letting me explain how I created it. And I will have um, the links to everybody else's um, projects below. So please stop by and give them a thumbs up and show them some love. And thank you so much for stopping by and uh, checking out my projects. Thank you, and have a great day. Bye-bye.